Ah, love. Almost all of us have wished to find someone special in school, spend recess with them while holding hands, and send each other messages until the wee hours of the night. And I was like that too. My name's Victor. I'm 16 years old, and although I've always been a hopeless romantic, I never had much luck in that area. All the girls I ever confessed my feelings to rejected me. And so, to not experience any more heartache, I decided to just focus on my friends, making plans and sharing good times with them. And that's what I did, until I met Sylvia. I assure you, it wasn't because she was new. The truth is that her personality completely won me over. She was shy, sweet, and very pretty, of course. I couldn't stop looking at her. We were definitely destined to be together. After our tutor made us sit in Paris for an assignment, and she sat by my side. We started talking, eventually became friends, and then we fell in love. After a couple of months of knowing each other, we were a couple. Finally, my first girlfriend. We not only spent time together at school, but also saw each other in the afternoons, and would write to each other on the weekends almost all the time. My friends didn't take long to nickname us the Little Lovebirds, making jokes that made Sylvia blush. But I didn't care, because I was very happy. However, after a while, everything started to go wrong. She started to demand more and more attention, and started to get angry at small details. You didn't send me a good morning message today. You said bye to me yesterday in a very dry way. Don't you love me anymore? To me, those things weren't important. But to not make Sylvia mad, I would just apologize. Then one day, one of my friends invited me to his birthday party. He told me they would do a small get-together, which was the perfect chance to see my friends again. We hadn't talked in such a long time, so I immediately accepted. After all, there's nothing wrong with going to your friend's birthday party, right? Well, for Sylvia, it was very wrong. As soon as I told her, she got furious. I've never seen her like that. She started to say things which didn't make any sense, while screaming and crying. The situation overwhelmed me, so I tried to calm her down by telling her that I wouldn't go, even though I was still going. It was just a little white lie. She didn't have to know. That day after arriving at my friend's house, I told him to be careful and not publish any photo which showed me. He found that strange and laughed at me, until I told him what happened to Sylvia, and with a serious expression, he told me that wasn't normal behavior. Deep down, I also knew it wasn't, but I preferred to just not think about it. In regards to the party, it was great. I hadn't had so much fun in a long time. We laughed the entire afternoon and talked a lot with all my friends. However, I didn't expect at all what would happen next. Someone rang the doorbell, and when one of my friends opened the door, I heard my girlfriend's deranged voice. Where the hell is Victor? I thought about hiding, but she immediately entered the house without permission, going directly to the living room where we were all hanging out. She saw me and got red as a tomato. It's clear that you don't care about me anymore, since you prefer to spend your time with these people instead of me. Nobody said anything, and she went away slamming the door. After that little scene, my friends gave me a pep talk. It was filled with laughs at first, but then they got serious. Sylvia's behavior was definitely not normal. Why should I have to choose between Sylvia and my friends? I still love her. I love her very much. But I also realize that I put my friends behind, and they're also an important part of my life. So, what do you think? Is it possible to have both a girlfriend and friends? Should I cut her off, or should I cut my friends off? My life sucks. Does your life suck as well, and you want to share it with us? Send us your story to storiesmylifesucks at gmail.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media to find out if you are the protagonist of our next video.